outside an addiction treatment center in Monroe. Shantae Miller shares her story. I was about 21 when I was first introduced to drugs. She says at the time she had a great life. She didn't want for anything, but she soon found herself trapped in an addiction to heroin and cocaine. The worst part is what it took from her. It was losing family. It was not being there for my kids. It was not being self-sufficient. It almost cost her her life. <sighs> Overdose for me, about five times, six times. It's, I mean, it's an everyday thing in the life of addiction. Jeffrey Godfrey understands. This is a vicious cycle. The nurse practitioner with Ideal Options sees the opioid epidemic in Snohomish County. Approximately about 40 to 50,000 people in Snohomish County that utilize opiates of some way. Let's treat this disease with everything that we have in our tool basket. That's what researchers at University of Washington say too. They develop Second Chance, a cell phone app that uses sound waves to monitor someone's breathing rate. If decreased breathing is detected, the app sends an alarm asking the person if they're okay. If the person does not respond, the app would seek help contacting a family member, friend, or emergency services. Using technology as another tool is something Godfrey wants. The fewer people who die from over it, opiate overdose, um, the better, right? We're, we're here to save lives. Lives like Shantae Miller's. About five and a half years ago, I decided to get my life together. Today, she has a four-year-old daughter and is in school full-time, studying social and human services and addiction studies. I'm just on this um, real peaceful path right now. Still learning myself, but um, it's great. Sometimes a second chance makes all the difference. In Monroe, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News. The Second Chance app can track someone's breathing from up to three feet away. It was tested at a supervised injection site in Vancouver, B.C. That app was accurate about 90% of the time. Researchers are now applying for FDA approval.